What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the show. Another episode of Popcorn Heads. Today, we're watching Cutthroat City, starring T.I. It's an action crime drama thriller. What else can I tell you about this? Yo, let me just get straight to the synopsis. I ain't gonna waste time. Waste your time, folks. I'm not gonna waste your time. Let me get straight to it. So, set after Hurricane Katrina, four, four boyhood friends out of options reluctantly accept an offer to pull off a dangerous heist in the heart of New Orleans. Not bad. We've seen four friends hang out, boys in the hood. We've seen four friends with four brothers or three brothers, whatever it's called, Mark Wahlberg and Tyrese. We've seen The Wood. We've seen tons of movies with a group of men that are friends. Den of Thieves, The Wood, like I said. Um, I said boys in the hood already? Yeah, I think I said that. Baby boy. We've seen it. How is this going to be different? And the main question today, the main question today is, should actors... I'm sorry, the other way around. Should rappers be actors? Should rappers act? In my opinion, it doesn't really matter what you do. You can do anything you want. You shouldn't be category. You shouldn't be placed in one category or limited to what to one thing. You could be multifaceted. You could do a multitude of things. But, but when you got stuff like this. You're the best damn medic in Brigade. This is my son we are talking about. He is sick. He deserves it. That's where it goes bad, folks. This is what I'm talking about when, when I say, this is why I ask that question, should they be actors? Sometimes they shouldn't, man. Stick to rapping, stick to just musicians. Sometimes you gotta stick to it. Now there's some that can act. There's people that cross lanes. There's some people that cross lanes. Lady Gaga, she's nice. American Horror Story, she's nice. Um, Rob Zombie, I don't know. That's another one that's questionable. He's okay. Um, I do like ASAP Rocky. I do want to work with him. ASAP is a problem. He's amazing. I want to work with ASAP Rocky. He's really good. Ice Cube, he's amazing. N- not amazing actor. I mean, he's good. He's good enough to be in a movie and he's a great producer. Um, so there's some people, yes, that can cross over. Am I missing anybody else? Tyrese, great singer, and he crossed over. He was good. Yes, you can cross over. If you actually want to act and you're really going to do it. Trevor Jackson's another one. He did okay in Superfly. There's a, there's a few of them. Bow Wow. Uh, like my... Let, let me play a clip and show you what I'm talking about. What the... Man, where's my face? Oi! Time to dust on there! No mail! No mail! Go down! No mail! Better so hit my tiny pachanko jene! You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Like Mike and Bow Wow, nah, man, just Luda's okay, but you get the idea. So we're gonna check this thing out, Cutthroat City. I don't wait, wait, wanna waste any more time. Let's get straight to it and see what T.I. and the rest of these folks are talking about. Hopefully this is good. It's rated R. I don't know when this thing's coming out. Hopefully the trailer tells us, like I said, when I watch these trailers with you guys, it's just like to be just as surprised as you. So it's T.I. is directed by RZA, that's dope. Wu-Tang in the house. It's directed by RZA, so I, I respect that. I respect that. But, you know, nonetheless, let's get straight into it. I don't want to waste any more time. Let's see what's getting on. Let's what's going on. What's cooking. Let's get it. Hey, everyone. I'm Judy Greer. I would watch it over and over and over again. And as they rode off into the sunset, I just remember thinking... Ready it all, like I said. Let's check it out. Hurricane Katrina may extend from southeast Louisiana all the way to Kentucky and south. Also tough. You black from the lower ninth. I ain't no puppet, I'm this in a dude. What's new? Wesley. Wesley Snipes. Oh, damn. I don't know how you do it. That brother's back. Love, man. <laughs> you got a wife and a son now. You won't have to deal with it. This type of assistance, the Ninth Ward isn't covered. New Orleans, nothing short of apocalyptic. First they flood us, then they push us out. This happened just how they wanted. Why don't we talk to your cousin? That dude a gangster, he made me nervous. And what the hell are we? We ain't no gangster. It's my only option. This morning, don't fuss, alright? We ain't that different. Men for money. <laughs> Perfectly 
into a tax-paying casino was hit. Oh. Hey, what happened? In the car! You ain't got my money. We got to walk the plane. We got to figure something out fast. <laughs> you got trouble, boy? Can't get up what you're up against. If you're out, what is going on? Can't get up in this. I just want to do something. We're not coming. I don't care. I think they in trouble. There's a war going on you don't know about. I'm a soul's ambition. Definitely got down. But the lower ninth was mine. Long before it was yours. always been with us. Just had a bunch of different names. Yo. That was dope. That that was dope. Okay. Okay. So if you put the right actors in the right movie together, they can do a very, very good job. And we can tell just by looking at that. So Demetrius Ship Jr., if you guys don't know him, that's the guy that played Tupac in the Tupac Shakur movie. You could probably see on this side. I'm probably pulling up a picture of him right now. Demetrius Ship Jr., Denzel Whitaker is in it. Um, T.I., I don't know what that was on T.I.'s face. It looked like he ate a powdered donut. Let's just go back. Let me show you real quick. I don't know what that was on T.I.'s face, but it looked like he ate a powdered donut. Who told him to put it there? What did the makeup artist or I, I don't know what that was, but this is what I'm talking about. Like, like hold on, let me hold on, bro. That that, that cer certain things that uh, D Ship Jr. Okay, cool, but they're putting him in a lot of hood movies. I noticed that they're not really giving him other than the Tupac thing, give him a lot of hood movies. Um, I know that kid from somewhere, the main character. I don't remember where I know him from. Now, Wesley Snipes, we're gonna get on TI real soon, but Wesley Snipes came out of the house like Samuel Jackson in Black Snake Moan. I swear he came out the house. Look, look, let's play it back real quick. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if the director was that was what he was aiming for, but let's just look real quick. Look how look how Wesley came out. We gotta figure something out fast. You got trouble, boy. <laughs> Come on, that's Black Snake Moan, brother. Stop, man. That is Black Snake Moan. Um, my boy Samuel Jackson, and then he got Ti with the powdered donut lips. Ethan Hawke. Shout out to Ethan Hawke. Ethan Hawke is in there. That's dope, but what is that on T.I.'s face? Hold on. What is that? What is that? I don't know if it's a birthmark, but I don't know the purpose it was supposed to make him look hard. I don't know why they did that, but shout out to RZA. It looks good. It looked like the shot with Anamorphics, which is beautiful. Denzel Whitaker's making a take a comeback too. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. That that joint on T.S. face though is killing me. That birthmark. Why do they do that to him like that? Look at that. It looks like he ate a powder donut from far away and there's the powder around his lips. But I like T.I. man. I really, really like T.I. a lot. I want to work with him one day. But uh, shout out to him. This looks good. Terrence Howard. He said he retired from acting and now he's back. Terrence, man, you told us you was done. That's what you said. I should probably play the clip. Or maybe put up a quote. If I can find it, it'll be here. If I can't, mm. So... Demetrius Ship Jr., Cat Graham, Keen Johnson, Isaiah Washington's official also. Romeo Must Die. You guys, these are some good actors. But sometimes, one thing I do know, before we close out, when you put too many good actors or a lot of actors, star actors in one movie, it can turn out to be a disaster. So that's another thing you have to be careful for. But this looks dope. So I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. Surprisingly, I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. 4 stars out of 5. The music is good. The casting looks pretty good so far in terms of that. Cinematography looked real clean. Looked like anamorphic lenses. Good shots in there. And, um, yeah, the acting looked good, too. So, overall, I'm just going to go ahead and get this thing 4 out of 5, man. Tell me what you guys think. Leave the comments below. Cutthroat City Rated R is coming soon. I don't see a drop date. But directed by RZA. RZA, good job. We... We got to connect, Rizzo. We got to connect. We got to do our thing, man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. And uh, let's keep this thing rolling. Let's see what we got next episode. I'm out.